What else I missed? What else I missed? You guys been dropping some questions. That's what I'm talking about. Come back from being on a hiatus, live stream hiatus for three months, and you got questions. I mean, valuable questions. Thank you all for the questions. All of you, man. You guys are, are running some beautiful questions down. Lighthouse Music says, I've recently formulated a record label with my son, and we are both in the process of releasing instrumental projects. What is the best way to monetize the project and still sell the beats on the projects? First and foremost, let me say this to you. If you are working on a project because you haven't defined the type of project you're looking for, are you releasing music as artists or you're releasing music as producers? If you're releasing music as artists, then I would not try and monetize my beats by selling it to someone else because that's just completely wrong. You don't do that. But if it's just a situation where you are actually releasing tracks that you're trying to sell to artists, the best way to do it now is YouTube and Instagram. Guys, I'm going to say this to you again. YouTube isn't going anywhere. They've shown you that. Instagram doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. They teamed up with Facebook. So the best way to do that is to monetize it that way. Um, but you have to get it distributed. And I know one of the things that you guys are, are dealing with as far as an issue with YouTube is not having enough subscribers and views, watch time views to actually make money off your music. That's a part of what we do do with our distribution now with UMG. Uh, we offer distribution on YouTube. So it doesn't matter whether or not you have enough subscribers or not. We can actually monetize your music anyway. We can even claim your video on your behalf if you want you know hey that's our video so we can claim it all the way around but that's just one way to do it w walker 44 says thanks guys but more specifically what are the best ways to create a website for playing and selling your music great question w walker it's real simple right now nowadays most of you guys are using wix however the catch with wix is you got to pay them monthly access to continue to use it even though you're using that drag and drop. What people are sleeping on now is WordPress. And I do this on my new tutorial with Music Millionaires because we have a whole new course that we've dropped. I mean, complete real course that we dropped. But WordPress is one of the number one ways that you can do it. On one of these videos, I, I dropped a link where you can go and get the website for like $55 a year. Okay, $55 a year, which I think boils down to like maybe $3 a month. But WordPress is the best because now WordPress has Eliminator in it. Eliminator is basically a drag and drop that allows you to drag your SoundCloud accounts, any music. It, it, it's so simplistic and I got a video tutorial I'm doing it as well. It's real simple it, and, and literally WordPress now is the best way to go guys. You guys don't have no reason not to have a website up and have it done and looking good without having to do any kind of real design. You may have to get some banners made up here and there for the most part, but it's real simplistic. <laughs> Delta L Triplet says, man, please interview me. I'm all for it. More the better. Hands down. Make sure you email me and I, we, we get it in and definitely do an interview with you guys. I mean that from the bottom of my heart. Let's get it in. I'm, I'm, this is what I do because I, I want to be able to I will interview you guys on air. I try not to do if I'm not doing paid consultations, I want to do consultations that I can at least interview you guys. I'm just being straightforward, you know, no fluff. I prefer to do interviews where I can utilize the content and put it on podcast because you, you have no idea some of you guys questions and what you guys go through are the same for everybody. OK, it's universally the same issue and gripes and it just helps everybody else when I'm able to interview you live and then put it on podcast or you know, like the music scam, you know, video that I did with the brother, you know what I mean? Uh, him being able to let me call him and, and you guys hear it. So, you know, I'm definitely down for that. Uh, Dizzy says, I am interested in managing a group of friends that make their own music. Should I get the copyrights before releasing material on a website we purchased the domain for? Now, let me be very clear when it comes to managing and copyrights. Management is just that. You are managing that person's career. Within that management contract should be the rights to all their music and to represent that music. You as a manager should never own the copyrights of any of your artists. That is not what you do. Your job is to represent the artists and the copyrights. And it has to be a reflection of that management contract. That's something as well that you guys need to hear and understand. When you have management, they have the rights to represent your music and you as the artist, okay? And what you put inside of that contract stipulates how they'll be able to actually represent you. Very clear on that, because I've heard many a times people say management and then that management be publishing or distribution or record label type conversation and talk. And that's completely wrong. So be very clear that you understand what management is, what copyrights is. And, and if you own an artist's copyright, it, is, it should be under a work for hire, meaning that you hired them to make this work for you and they understand that what they did is yours and that they, pay, they, they got paid flat right, okay?
We're redefining our, ourselves based on our new world, this new dimension, this new place that we live in. And so your redefinition of yourself has to be your truth first and foremost. It has to be who you truly are, okay? Don't go into this whining. Don't be a crier. When I was talking about sharing your life and the reality of it, don't go in there whining. Don't be complaining about your situation and, and, and how effed up it is and all that, because that's life. No one wants to hear that shit. That's, that's all of us. But redefine yourself in a way that says, I am coming back from this burnt out situation I was in.